I purchased 100 shoes from another reseller over a month ago and I still have no idea what I got. <laughs> so today's video guys, I'm going to be doing kind of a mystery box with you. I purchased these from another reseller. She reached out to me and said, hey, I have 100 pairs of shoes that are cleaned and ready to list, but I'm moving and I just don't wanna take them with me. Do you want to purchase them for $3.50 an item? There's 100 of them. And I said, sure. I have not shopped at a thrift store in almost six weeks. I'll link a video up here of kind of what happened in my January but it was a very chaotic January for me. I have not been sourcing. So when she said that, I was like, let's do this, fingers crossed. She sent me a couple pictures of, you know, a pair of Merrill, Merrill shoes, I think, and maybe, you know, a couple, like a pair of Nikes or something to kind of give me an idea. But I was like, let's do this. I bought them, you know, a month ago. They've been sitting in my office with the lids on it. So I really had no idea what I was getting. One of the reasons I felt comfortable doing this is one, I needed inventory. <laughs> and $3.50 is a pretty low inventory cost. So even if I only sell half of them, it still makes the cost of goods, you know, $6 an item if I decide to like donate half of them. The other thing is, is looking at my data, I know that shoes is one of my top performing categories. Shoes do well for me average profit so this is taking out cost of goods is $34 which for me you know is about my average profit and my sell through rate there is about 10% so if you're new to the channel this is the Sarah style sales and trends dashboard I'll link it down below it's just a Google sheet template so you guys can have access to these charts and graphs as well that's just one of the charts in there all of my videos you know I go d way in depth into all of the charts in there but to help you track and manage your data and your numbers to figure out what your top categories are and make strategic decisions for your business but let's go ahead and open up one of these boxes I just picked one of them I have not looked I did open one of them about a week ago on Instagram did a quick reel and looked at like three pairs and they were good I was pretty excited with what I got a Vionic uh, I don't remember the other ones. A Merrill, maybe. I don't remember what else I got, but you can check out the reel on Instagram if you want to see that. But other than that, I haven't opened those. So I have no idea <laughs> what's in these bins. And let's open it and see what I got. The nice thing too about this, and I think I mentioned it, is they were cleaned too. So I can go straight to listing, which again was worth the risk for me because I'm not having to spend time cleaning. She was all ready to clean them. Uh, Sacconi's. I like looking at the bottom and the thread here is nice. She definitely has cleaned them up and did a very great, good job at doing that. Uh, these look like a lot of, no, oh, there's everything. There's tennis shoes in here. There's some heels. I'll show you the whole thing. Uh, Puma, these have been cleaned up. The thread on the bottom of these. So when buying shoes, one thing that I definitely look at is the bottom and the thread. Um, you know, a lot of this can be either cleaned by hand or some shoes can go in the washer. Uh, so that's not always a discouragement for me to buy, but if the threading is too worn on the bottom, then, you know, they're not, even how, no matter how clean you get them, they're gonna have a harder time selling. Uh, this is a new brand to me. Um, let me know down below if you guys know this brand, Borel. Boreal, I saw it at first, like at a quick glance, I was like, Sorel, oh, Sorel makes tennis shoes. These look like maybe hiking. It says Zenith Dura, um, I don't know. This is the bottom, um, or maybe mountain climbing. This looks like a mountain climbing toe. I don't know, let me know what you guys know. I haven't listed them yet. <laughs> I haven't even opened all the boxes. Uh, so let me know what you find. This is Superga. Let me know if you guys are also a new brand to me. The night, the fun thing about doing this sometimes too is like there's new brands. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know that if I saw this at a thrift store, I would pick it up and look at it, you know, and check the comps. So it's kind of fun to get new things, new mystery boxes. Columbia, I do know Columbia. These are cute. What size? Um, not my size. Phew. <laughs> Um, these are cute little boat shoes, loafers. They have like some mesh here. Sole is pretty good. Um, Mark Joseph. So I do have a pair or two of Mark Joseph's, I think, in my store, and I, they haven't moved for me. So I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I would pick up this brand or not. <clears throat> but maybe it's just the style that I'm looking at. My camera's kind of doing, trying to focus. So sorry about that, guys. 
as I do a hole here, area it. See that one? Just like little mule clogs. This is amazing. They're all clean. <laughs> like that in and of itself that I don't have to do that or sometimes I pay my niece to do it for me um, is nice. Echo. Echo is hit or miss. I still pick it up. It will sell. They don't always fly off. It doesn't always fly off the shelves, um, but it sells. It's a consistent seller for me. Sam Edelman. I've kind of quit picking up Sam Edelman, honestly. Uh, it doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't always do well, but these are cute, and I have, like, I probably wouldn't have picked these up, but for $3.50, and they're already cleaned and ready to go, I will probably list them <laughs> and see how they do. Born. So if you watch my channel, this is definitely a brand that I pick up. The th threading on the bottom of these is not really worn down. She cleaned them really well, so that, you know... 20 or 30 bucks, but still, you know, that's money. Sperry, I do not pick this brand up. Um, let me know down below. The, I picked it up, you know, a couple years ago when I first started reselling and nothing really sold well, so I quit picking it up. But I know resellers do, so I'm wondering if there's certain styles by Sperry that maybe, I think like they're, they have like rainbow, like duck shoot, like Sorrel's duck suits, I think maybe do well. I don't know, let me know down below. I haven't sold that brand in years, so I'm not really sure. Let's see. Clark's. Oh, you guys can't see that. Um, it's worn off. Let me see. Clark, so these are like a shoe mall brand, right? Um, I've sold a couple of these. I'd probably pick these up at the bins if they were in good condition. And they seem, yeah, the thread seems to be pretty good with those. And then Dolce Vita. Um... These are cute. I maybe would have considered these. I don't pick up a lot of Dolce Vita. Can you see that? I don't pick up a ton of Dolce Vita, but these are actually really cute. Um, and they're in really good condition. So I probably, bins, maybe I would have picked those up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What, would you pick them up? Would you not pick them up? Is it a good little haul? I would assume most of the other bins are going to be very similar. These are Clarks again. Um, I've actually sold a pair of men's Clarks like these, and they sold pretty quickly for like 30 bucks. I can't get but it's Clarks. It's the same as the last one that I showed. Ooh, these are cute. Little booties. What are they? Oh. Z-I-G-I -I girl? I don't know. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. You're not going to. You can kind of see it on the bottom. Never heard of this brand. They do feel like they're real, you know, suede leather. So they're probably a decent quality. Never heard of the brand, though. Uh, and like I said, I just opened these. So I haven't even looked up comps on anything. So if these are any brands that you guys know, let me know down below. Would you pick them up or not? If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe. YouTube thinks that you would also like this video. And I'll link how to make money reselling videos here.